Hey Hannes, thanks for taking some time to talk with us uh, at uh, MetalNews.com. We are thrilled to have the drummer from Obscure and ex Necrophagus and a lot of other bands So uh, with us tonight. We're gonna uh, ask him some uh, few questions, some random questions. And uh, so let's start uh, with the first question. Your concert in Paris with Obscura last year. How was that gig for you? Um, actually, which one do you mean? Like, because I think um, last year is like, what? It's 2013, right? Yeah. Like, that's just like three months ago. Just, just oh, yeah, 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 sure. Um, you can remember, you know, I thought about, like, because we played in, in Paris like 2012 as well with uh, Spawn of Possession supporting us. That was amazing. Amazing. That was like really the best show of the tour. Cool. And um, this time, like, three months ago, we, we went back uh, to Paris supporting, like, Death. Uh, death to all yeah, that, that this tribute about, yeah, thing, that. thing, and well, um, it was a very very good show as always. Like this club Trabendo is a little weird sometimes <laughs> at times because the audience is on your left hand side okay. somehow. It, it's it's a little strange. At least it feels like that. But um, concerts in France always are um, very you know people are very enthusiastic. There's a and, lot of energy uh, in Paris, right? Very, yeah. very energetic live crowd, and I and I like that a lot. I like it better than people only standing and listening. Even though, like, um, I know it's it differs from from where, you know, from hmm, how you say culture. I would say, yeah. like, the more south you go, um, the more crazy people <laughs> act. I guess the more drunk At people times. are, you know. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Paris is usually good, and um, it definitely um, reflects in merch sales and cool. stuff like that. You cool. can definitely tell. And um, Paris is always a good city for us. Actually, France in general is good for us. And um, uh, have you been there? No, or, no, no. Um, I haven't. So, uh, but um, I hope to sometime with my band. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's uh, take the next question. Uh, Obscura's full length album, uh, Omnivium, is, is that right? Om I would say Omni uh, Omnivium, 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 but. Omnivium, okay. I mean, it's it's not really a, uh, a word, like a usual word, so I think you get pronounce it as yeah. you like. <laughs> Who came up with that title? Um, we had different suggestions. Like, there's this song on the album called Vortex Omnivium. Yeah which was a song title um, and our singer comes up with song titles and we were like um, the four of us were like sitting on a table and discussing possible names I came up with a few which were all like horrible <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm not so good at that and uh, and um, our bass player said hey um, why don't we just call the album not Vortex Omnivium but just Omnivium um, that would be shorter and check just one word yeah, and it's we like the idea. It, it so, worked, um, yeah. and it reflects a lot of what the album is about. So, yeah. um, I think it's an awesome title, man. It it means like something like um, like omni, like everything and nothing at the same time. So, um, universe, time, whatever. Like yeah, that, that's all what these obscure is, man. <laughs> these concepts yeah. and like very conceptual, and it it's also good to have. I think for some. For some um, um, albums, it's good to only have one title, and yeah. and since the album before that was Cosmogenesis, Cosmogenesis reflects in the title as well, like about yeah. the um, let's say creation or um, how you, how you think like the the universe got you know in order or whatever, and um, Omnivium is much more about evolution. So and to set like. Um, the two albums in in perspective of each other it should be like one title yeah. i think and that was like really smart title and i yeah. think it's it's a good thing uh, it's uh, the two albums is like and it's all it's also like um if you i and i think if you discuss stuff in a in a in a group that can work together really well you come up with better better ideas than on your own i find and this is a perfect example because we were sitting down and this was like pretty much um uh, on the fly yeah so cool, there were a few man. options but this was definitely the best one i think Cool man, let's take the next uh, question. Uh, what is your favorite obscure track to play live? Huh, that's a tough one. Um, 
It depends. It depends. I really like ocean gateways because it's not so fast. <laughs> um, but it's not. It's not the tempo that you know. I don't care about fast or slow playing so much. Um, I it's it's imagine, just man. just playing. You know, it, just playing the notes. Like, um, it's more about about um, feel of the song. Like, it's more laid back and has a more um, four four on the floor kind of feel, yeah. and I yeah. like that a lot. But still has some some, you know. Um, te technical things in it which I appreciate. So you like the groovy so, things, right? I, I like the groovy yeah. kind of of things as a lot. They are really fun to play, even though um, I'm not listening to it so much. Like oh. compared to other bands, I of course I listen to it, but I don't myself. I don't really write um, music for for groove oriented music. Oh. And this was like the only time where I where I actually wrote a song that is based on a slower kind of backbeat groove yeah. and um that's why I like to play it live cool. and <laughs> but also like um Vortex Omnivium is is a fun song it's very intense yeah. it has a lot in it like a lot of fast stuff but then it totally changes and goes into that kind of fusion yeah. it's sort of like... of odd meter um thing in the middle and that's what I really, really like. Cool, man. Um, like these um, different components um, of playing. Like for instance, I'm. I think my favorite track to listen to was like the first track from Omnivium, but it's not necessarily my favorite track to play. <laughs> no. Um, it has nothing to do with it. Like, and just just as a drummer. Yeah. Not as a composer or whatever. Composer, just no. as a drummer. Um, playing stuff, it's it's always different. I really from the Cosmogenesis album. I really like um, uh, what's the song called? Uh, 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 <laughs> I worked too long today. <laughs> You've but, been with, me, uh, with uh, Universe of... Momentum. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah. Can't remember. You've been with a lot of bands, man, and you you worked hard. You, and man, you got so many projects. I can't imagine how the fuck. You kind of get manage them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's getting a, worse. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. You said you take all the work with you. So when the breaks come in the backstage, you also work, right? Yes, at, at times. Um, this time, like on 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 the last tour, I was um, cleaning up Tom tracks for um, actually the new album by our lead guitarist Christian Münzner. Okay. He's doing another solo record, and I was doing the drums. Cool. And um, yeah, I was just checking if the tracks are all right, if if the cuts yeah. fit together, if there's like no clicks or whatever on it. Yeah, work. And I work just have, again. <laughs> yeah, that's like the most boring part of, of so, uh, you know, uh, doing set drumming. Let's take the next question. Uh, do you use uh, triggers or mix for live performance, or do you mix it? You know. To trigger, I so. mix it, you um, mix it but yeah. only we're t only talking about um, bass drum. Yeah, okay. Using triggers on Tom's snare, I don't like it. No. I don't like the sound of it. I would probably um, do it in the <coughs> studio if it if it helps the song or the album. No problem. Um, it's just like in a live situation, it just sounds a little weird, and it also feels weird. I need the natural feel of. You know, my hands playing on an yeah. acoustic drum. Yeah. And actually, there's, if I might say so, um, there's no really need to trigger my, my playing. So <laughs> um, you are a fucking monster, man. So uh, I, you bash so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I hit very hard. Yeah. And um, also in the fast. It's, it's like. Yeah, I, I like I like to see you and Inferno on the stage. Who can fucking bash most of you, man? Yeah. <laughs> Inferno from Behemoth. So, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, um, I'm just using like a mix in in the in the um, in the bass drums. Yeah. Depends um what I'm playing. Like with Obscura, it's good to have a little trigger yeah. in there. Like just mix it in, like for to flatten out the sound and make it um you know, yeah. more uh, listenable. Yeah, bon in, in uh, terms a of bit just more um, put on a bit, a bit cleaner, just yeah. put on some um, high frequencies yeah. and to have it a little more clicky. I think you could get like with a nice um, microphone or two microphones combined, you can could get a similar sound, but it's 
it's just easier that that way you like use, because uh, we're use, not playing in the best you use uh, front and back uh, makes um uh, sometimes sometimes yeah sometimes um sometimes i work with like two microphones like one inside the kick drum and one on on the um, resonance hole yeah and uh that this gets a good a good tone i think man thanks for that uh, let's take uh, the next question the next question is uh, about necrophagists okay of course man you are so well known in the necrophagist uh, all the fans are waiting and into the waiting time about necrophagus and all that shit. I couldn't but answer anything about that anyway. No, I have no so, idea. <laughs> but still I got a lot of people like, oh man, you gotta gotta ask him about that and so that's that's yeah. a fucking well known and well, personally if, if you want to but I can't answer anything because I'm not in the band anymore no. since two thousand seven. Yeah. So um but uh, still I don't know what's going on. Um maybe you should ask some people who are involved yeah. in the band right now. <laughs> that's um, that's why It's just one one thing that oh, I think like is weird like it of course it takes a lot of time and from the first album to the one I like there's two albums and yeah. to the second one to um Epitaph there were were also uh I think 5 years in between. We were like worth w waiting because yeah, I man. find Epitaph was much better than the first one. Yeah, yeah. And or let's say it was like um, worth the waiting. Yeah. And mm, I, it's it's dangerous to wait a long time because um, you set the bar and the expectations higher yeah. and higher yeah. and higher. And uh, what I would hope like that the, it was worth the waiting and there's like this, you know, some some new thing going on. Um, let's see. I, you never know, but that's why we. It are... might be totally different reasons. It's very hard yeah, to keep that... up a band and uh, keep up you, what you're doing. And um, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't. I'm not so interested in it anymore. But the project, and of of course, you are here from Obscura, not Necrophagus. But I still want to ask you your favorite track from Epitaph. Um, to listen to or to play. Let's take both. Um, to play, I can't actually really remember so much. <laughs> and they weren't like really so much fun for me to play because um, it wasn't my own stuff, so to speak. Oh. It was... Um, I'm not talking about like, do, playing songs by other people. It's more like that the drum line was so written out and well written out. Yeah. So um, I learned like the drum line, but once you've you've mastered it so to speak like it was very difficult to learn um the drums from the album but i find like once you have it down then it's like okay what's next still like every every sing cymbal hit is exactly the same and we did like 160 shows exactly yeah, the exactly same the cymbals same. and for for <laughs> guitarists this is quite common because yeah, you know that's the especially same, with yeah. the more technical thing you you play like the notes as they are but as a drummer it's like not very common to play note for note for um everything oh. like it is on the album and it's um it, it well, wasn't so much fun doing doing well, the job like in terms of playing in terms of listening i don't know man it's been quite a long time <laughs> since i've listened to the album because just say I, just say if you don't, don't want know. to hear hello answer in actually i'm not listening to the that. album at all anymore it's um it's There's, just it's it's old man it's you can remember when you were listening to the fucking uh, um which it depends um from from i would say from my uh, there, from from in terms of how i like things. i mean i like um like the first how, how is been written then are, are, pre are pretty nice i like them i would say um like Every two years or something, when I listen to the album, I'm, I'm like, oh, I could put on Epitaph, and then I'm listening to the first two songs. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but um, like the second song, uh, what was the album? Uh, Stillborn One, that has a lot of interesting rhythmic things. Yeah. In general, so Stab Wound is really nice to yeah. listen to, and it's not very. Um, it's not a very long song. It's a very short song, so it. It was easy. <laughs> it, it's, it's hitting. It's hitting 
straight in your face and yeah. then it's over. I, I like that. And um, anything else? Um, I don't know. Um, these are like the I would say these are my two favorite songs. Cool, man. The other stuff, more or less. <laughs> I know people will hate me for that, but it's more or less a little bit the we, same. We thing. want your, we want but your uh, opinion, seven, man. seven is a good song, I think. Yeah, also, man. Well, I would say the whole album, man. I can't pick one out. It's fucking awesome. I love, love your fucking drumming on it, man. Uh, if you don't write a at the moment um that's that's a tough one i thought about <laughs> that's I, not I thought about work. a question like that's that not might, work <laughs> i thought about a question like that might occur um bands i listen to which are different from the bands i listened to um 10 years ago <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh no um Actually, um, newer ba newer bands I'm listening to. I just got into it. One band is um, called Panzer Ballet. I don't know. Um, Panzer Ballet in German. Uh. They're from Munich. It's a, a jazz band, a jazz band who com they combine jazz with metal. Cool. And a music for two drum sets. And um, yeah, cool. that band is phenomenal. They like really taking like the most not you know usually like when 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 let's say classical music and metal is combined like you usually you have like the most superficial elements or you when you combine anything with anything there are like two very obvious elements and you yeah, bring them together yeah. and it's a huge success and what Panzer Ballet does is awesome they're taking like jazz music and metal music and take out the most stressful elements <laughs> and okay. blend them together awesome. like um from the jazz, they they have a saxophone player and they're using a lot of uh, uh, you know this um, the bebop and jazz fusion thing. Yeah, like just a kind of stressful to listen to. And then on the <laughs> other hand, they from metal they're taking a lot of this polyrhythmic stuff, oh, yeah. which is very interesting, like Meshuggah. Yeah, but yeah. they go much further in terms so of that's, rhythm that's than a new kind Meshug of, of, of jazz gent <laughs> I don't think <laughs> you could label them they are like their own oh, their own point. genre like just, that's cool man they have yeah. just their own thing going cool, on man. that's what I really like a lot um, and uh, bands I listen to I think um, lately I've been into a lot of the Ishan stuff um, I think this is really really good music And that's always interesting. I mean, it's not very, it's not, if exactly party music. <laughs> um, but I also like the. At first, I had like problems with with some of the freeform stuff he does or soundscape stuff because I thought, hmm, that's weird. <laughs> uh, but it it's 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 well done, man. It's good music, and I I really enjoy that, and. Um, what else? What else? Um, there's like a band I'm crazy about for a few years. It's called Non Euclid uh, from Germany, cool. with some friends of mine playing in there. It's a like a lot of local bands. <laughs> yeah, they're finally um, cool man. Support the local bands. Base... They recorded an album in 2008. And now this year it's, or yeah, I think this year it's gonna be released finally, and okay. because they found found somebody who to distribute it. Yeah. And uh, um, it's still if they, you know, that's a thing. Like if the if it took like five more years to release it, it would still be ahead of of the time. Oh, because it's um, there's so much stuff going on which is unheard and undone so far. Cool. And that's like stuff I'm into, like. That's what I think. Like progressive music is all about, like you know, um, erasing the boundaries of of your genre or what whatever you think you're doing, and just yeah. exploring something else. Do your own, which is very unique and does not have a label on it. Yeah. And but actually, 
It's something, Besides something you, you never can... Emulation. Actually, I'm listening to a emulation. lot of emulation lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I know... Um, what about Gorgots? Have you listened to or, the uh, yeah, yeah, I have, I have the new album. I think oh. it's re really good. Cool, man. I think it's a good album. Um, that's awesome. also, like, um, very, um, how do you say, uh, innovative. Yeah. We like it. So, and uh, next question. Um, we're talking a lot. That's okay. <laughs> uh, you're getting a lot more information from uh, Hannes. That's fucking awesome, man. Um, you announced you're offering session work. Have you got uh, any? Uh, yeah, I um, so, actually, so I this is work we're gonna talk about now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It have is. You, uh, it have has you to any be. upcoming work we can, you can um, reveal? Yeah, I did. I did some stuff. Um, uh, I have to think about it. Most, most, actually, all pretty much all of it is underground um, stuff. I would say. Some um, of that you you just mentioned. I just yeah. I yeah, just yeah. Um, figured out that um, these days are with. Um, you, you could see it like maybe on YouTube is full of videos, yeah, and yeah. actually full of guitar videos, like people playing really well, and and but not playing in. Band. There are music, but they have no people to play with. Yeah, and I I'm often offering session work, and actually some people um contacted me, and awesome, it's man. like especially people who worked worked on their own like um as guitar players and um um needed somebody to play the drums because they don't w didn't want to use um this horrible what is it superior drummer oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. actually it's a good program but you know the difference between superior drummer and a good you know real drummer is yeah. like uh, you can't describe it no, it's like it's worlds between yeah, still yeah so and that, that's, uh, that's fucking amazing, man! You're doing that. Uh, you reach out to 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 those people. Oh. Uh, but I'm offering it, um, you know, um, as, you know, session work, like studio jobs. Yeah. There was one um, band, black metal band from Greece, I recorded for. They have cool. <laughs> a deal on a German label. It's called uh, Thy Darkest Shade. Yeah. I th I th I think the album is not released yet, but um, that one was res really interesting. Cool. Um, then um, at the moment I'm doing some stuff for um, a, a guy from Pakistan. Cool. Man. It's more the direction uh, like Cynic or Ian spoke, yeah. like the more mellow, groovy oriented, progish kind of thing, and. Um, That's I guess I, I mean I would, all about your metal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind playing different styles, you know. Well, you can like play a, like I, a I, funk I, gig or something like that. I can definitely play it, yeah. but um, of course I'm I'm known for for being a metal drummer, and so I get job offers for you know yeah a lot of metal, metal recordings. Metal but recordings, but that's fine yeah. to me because I that's the music I little like enjoy most to listen to. I yeah, still cool. cool and. Cool. Um, uh, let's take yeah, uh, the ne next uh, question. Um, on tour with Obscura, you obviously had uh, a lot of fun. I can ma imagine. Can you can you remember uh, any fun moment or something you can uh, tell us? Uh, it's like this. Probably. Question because all I interview is like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know, know there's so much, man. Actually, the last tour was a lot of fun um, with Death because, yeah. you know, it, yeah, I mean, we're cool people. Awesome. And uh, how was that for you to tour with? What was the first time tour with Death? Yes. Cool. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Um, people are cool. Um, <laughs> it was super easy going. Um, the venues were were packed like awesome man so it was like really big shows at times and um we were really well received so um usually tours are a lot of work
Well, like, that's, I'm on that's stage and have a, a good time. That's still a fun moment, man. <laughs> and uh, and actually, like the funny, like the, you know, those obvious tour bus funny stories. Yeah. Um, they um, they're very getting very personal. So I don't think I can <laughs> very like, just tell. I, okay. I, I could think about um something that happened to myself maybe. Um, that's funny. <laughs> um, but actually, I'm I'm afraid I'm a, I'm a pretty boring person when it comes to touring. I don't, you know, ex- you are, um, you are, all of you are the dr- we're not so much of a party band you at times. You nerd, know, not so much. You are the nerd and, back in the bus with your with laptop, you know, and, and so like that. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. But, well, that's... Um, the last tour was fun too because we had an ice machine and um, cool. <laughs> and um, you could mix some nice drinks there. Awesome so. man, awesome. That's that was a fun moment. <laughs> cool man. Anything you want to say to the fans before we end? Um, um maybe, maybe I could um, uh, tell a little about my solo record if you don't mind of course man it's the all yours free free advertisement here it's um, all yours man um, for the fans because i just um produced a solo record myself yeah it, it sounds a lot like like the stuff i wrote for obscura anyways they weren't finished and then i had like some new ideas who were like yeah. fitting with that and so that's, that's and uh, probably, uh, I was just like um, okay um, the the songwriting process was so uh, ad, you know advanced in this in a way that it wasn't a band work anymore and so I, I decided to release it as solo record and I did cool, an right. um, crowdfunding campaign which yeah, went yeah. really well and um, it's it's being pressed right now I think like cool, man. Um, it's in the plant at the moment I'm waiting every day yeah. like to get get the <laughs> physical copies and ship them out and it will be available on yeah my shop and cd baby and it's the record again i said like hmm, you know what i could do one too awesome man awesome and um that one is coming out soon and i'm i think if you like obscura you will like this also awesome. um, very confident because it's it's um it's a very similar style and they have so many um great guest musicians on the album like um Penn Nielsen from Scar Symmetry. Cool. Um our bassist Linus plays bass. I got um Ron Jarson back, Jeff Loomis, um oh, Jeff Loomis. Jimmy Pitts, who else? Chris, our guitarist, plays a uh, solo as well. Cool, man. And you know, a lot of cool people. Awesome, and awesome. That I'm you know have some kind of relationship to seeing you you're collecting to that man it's it's fucking awesome man and i'm sure the fans will rip the fucking cd out man <laughs> yeah hopefully so uh we thanks hannes from obscura for having a free spare of time to conduct this interview with metal yeah. news sure anytime thank you have a fucking brutal day to you sir I will. Revelation and bullets become flesh. Waters 